Once again, we're back on the periodic table and we want to talk about another element, this part of it, chromium. Element number 24. Just like always, let's talk about the history of it first. In the middle of the 18th century, meaning around the year 1761, this element was first discovered by a German geologist named Johann Lemann, and he found it in the Ural Mountains of Russia. He does a lot of different experiments with this new element he found, like he mixes it with lead and gets a yellowish color in a liquid. And back then, it was actually a yellow pigment to do this with chromium. But of course, nowadays they don't do this because lead is toxic and they can't use it in things like paint anymore. Just like we said, Johann Lemon was a geologist and he wasn't a very good chemist, so he didn't know that this was an actual new element or a new metal. And then eventually, in the year 1794, when a French chemist by the name of Louis Nicolas Van Coin realized that this is a new element, with a lot of heat, he was able to purify the chromium. If you've seen our video about precious gemstones, especially the ruby, You'll know that the red color inside the ruby is because of the chromium is inside it. The more chromium there is inside the ruby, the deeper the red is, and the lower it is, the pinker it gets. You mix it with lead and you would get a yellow color as well. Vuklein had discovered all these different colors, but he never knew the true potential of this metal. Let's continue. Chromium is the hardest metal on earth. Tungsten is one of the hardest metal on earth, and a lot of people know that one. Tungsten carbide is even harder than tungsten itself, but it's not as hard as chromium. So this is why chromium is known as the hardest metal on earth. Chromium, just like its name, is a very shiny silver metal in pure form. And another important fact about chromium is that it does not want to rust. At least it takes an extremely long time for it to start corroding. When you look at stainless steel sheets, you'll realize that there is chromium laid on top of it. And that is the main reason it doesn't rust. A high quality kitchen knife is made from steel, which is basically iron and carbon. And chromium is added to it to make it stainless steel and much stronger. If you bought something stainless steel and later on it starts to rust, just know that it was not well made because if it's properly made, it's not supposed to do that. Where did the word chrome come from anyways? Just like usual, chrome is a Greek word that means color and they pronounce it chroma. And the reason they came up with color is because you could create different colors with chromium, like yellow, red, blue, and other stuff. So that was the main reason they named it color, or chrome, or chromium in English. When you mix chromium with sulfur, you will get this color, which is blue and green. So these are the reasons it's named color. Chromium is the 21st abundant element in the world, so it's not rare whatsoever, but you were never able to find it in pure form. It's always in an ore. Right now, most of the chromium in the whole world comes from these countries. In terms of production, these are in order. Zimbabwe, Russia, New Zealand, Turkey, Iran, Albania, Finland, the Philippines, and Madagascar. If you put all these countries together, per year they produce 20,000 tons of chromium. So for a metal like this, it's actually not that much per year. Just like gold, you could use chromium as a plating, so you can put it on different types of objects. Like old American cars, even modern ones, have chrome bumpers that use literal chrome on them that gives them that special shine. But with today's technology, you could lay chrome on anything, even plastic. And most of the chrome you see on modern cars use plastic, like these bumpers and grills. A high quality stainless steel that could be a tool, a kitchen appliance, 
heavy duty parts for a vehicle, it has to at least contain 10% chromium. If it doesn't have that, there is a chance it could start rusting or rotting out some way. Another use for chromium is used in leather making. Chromium is used for leather to make it stronger and more durable. They literally apply this element to it and it makes leather much stronger than the actual skin of the animal. Have you guys seen kill or furnace bricks? These are not normal bricks and the least concerning one is the one used in a chimney. But when you look at a kiln that's used in a factory, it has to be extremely strong and that's when chromium is used in there. It's because of the chromium that these bricks do not burn out. There are some articles that are going around that chromium is good for your health and it could lower blood sugar. But is it actually good or is it just an advertisement to sell more chromium supplements? You can't really give an answer yet because doctors and scientists are still experimenting on it. Some doctors say that chromium is good for diabetes patients because there is a chance that it lowers blood sugar. And some doctors even believe that one milligram of chromium per day is great for you. But if you eat wheat or anything that contains wheat like breads, you will get that one milligram that the doctors recommend. But of course, just like anything else, too much chromium could be toxic for your body. Most scientists say that we have to experiment more to see what chromium does to your body. But before then, it's better not to use it. You can't find any other metal that is as bright and silver as chromium. In this term, chromium is number one. Another place that chromium is high but it's not number one is the melting point because you need 1907 degrees Celsius to melt chromium and that's pretty high. Most of the chromium that is used today is for different stainless steel parts. And up next, you have chrome parts that are chrome plated. Like in the US, it's very common for semi tuck drivers to have chrome parts, especially the front end. Another example is that the gears in your gearbox, like your transmission or differential or even your engine, has to be extremely strong and last a very long time without cracking. So chromium is extremely important for building proper gears. Obviously the main ingredient for gears is steel, but chrome is extremely important to make it stronger. And this is the reason that a semi truck is able to pull stuff like this and not break down. How much is pure chromium anyways? Right now, the world price for chromium is about $9.50 per kilogram, which is about $9,500 per ton. So it's not crazy expensive. 